keep it round, 29. It's only the best way. Going out today, another one, second a week, going out to Dubai. Small hiccup on the Daytona, the small sort of mark on the unit. Wow, well, on bezel. You got a still rose date just 41. You got a still rose date just 41. So, what about the Daytona? If you could do it, it comes you quicker. They've dropped in so much value to you, yeah. Bob's your arm. That just is your arm. <laughs> Yes guys, how we doing? I am back. I uh, was, was away for a couple of weeks on vacation. To my surprise, a very nice surprise, we have six new arrivals in the penthouse. I'll probably start off with the, the, the smaller size watch, but definitely not the, the least. Uh, it's the 18 karat yellow gold factory black onyx style. Uh, this is a 26 mil size watch. Uh, it comes with box and papers. This is a very, very uh, great condition. Uh, the dial alone, as you know, Onyx is a stone. Some of these dials can come with small sort of cracks in and chips because uh, the stone can crack and chip. However, this is a perfect example of a clean Onyx dial. Uh, this one will be available on our Instagram. I'm then going to move on to the Steel and Rose 37mm AP. Personally, lovely, lovely watch. Uh, I, I think this is uh, one of the one of the best AP ladies watches they do out there. This one is complemented with the Salmon Dial, a lovely watch going to be on our Instagram as well. Uh, I'm then going to move on to the two Pateks that we have in. We have the 5712R on a lever reference. Uh, as you guys know, the newer 5712 full metal come out with the chocolate dial. This is the older lever reference one. Beautiful watch. Uh, again, will come with box and papers. Uh, we, don't, we then also have the 5205R with the green dial. Love the green dial with the rose. Um, beautiful watch, a lever watch as well. Uh, perfect watch for if you're wearing a tuxedo or a suit. Again, will come box and papers. I'm then gonna go on to the Richard Mill, which we haven't had one in for a while. Uh, this is a RM10 Titanium. Uh, this is custom diamond set on the case and the buckle. This one here is factory set onto the original case. So it's custom diamond, sorry, it's custom diamond set by us, uh, but it's set on the factory case. Uh, sometimes you can buy RM10s, titaniums or rose with the custom diamond case. However, we have set on a factory case. So this one is available with box and papers. Uh, beautiful size RM in, in my opinion and then lastly I'm going to hit you off with the AP Skeleton uh, the rose gold the open work beautiful beautiful watch uh, just come in fresh I would say unworn you know it's it's not been polished there has got a few scratches on it uh, but we don't like to over polish these sort of watches we leave that to the customer to decide when they're on the day if they do want to touch it up um, Again, box and papers will be available on our Instagram. If any of these watches here interest any of you on, uh, any of you guys out there, uh, feel free to hit me a message on Instagram, drop me a comment below, um, and we can give you more details on each watch. Yeah, so that's this one. That's the salt one. Yeah, that, that's they got, and that's 17.5, that one. Box and papers, all the trimmings, the original yeah. box that it came with as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, at the moment, Wogers on shows what we got. Yeah. Um, but if there's anything that you use after in particular, uh, especially after seeing these, let me know. I'll, I'll be able to get it. 15 to Go quick with those best on the pair of them. On these two? Yeah. The second about that one there, I like this. Nice. Yeah, I'll be honest, this is probably my favourite out, out of all of them. Mm. It's 11.750. So that's where I work out. Yeah. Keep it round, 29. Do any better for me? Yeah, is that yeah? Right? sweet. Two special, special watches for you guys that love your GMTs and your subs. You know that the GMTs and the subs don't come in the diamond dials anymore, especially on the two tones. So these are extra special, especially the Sultan. Comes with all the trimmings, the original boxes. These are collector's pieces. So if you know your watches and you, you're about, you've got the cream, you'll know that these are the good stuff. Yeah, because you've got a rose, protect for late, 5711. 
just come back from a polish. Going out today. Another one, second a week, and out to Dubai. I think yeah. that was you that started that one, Mikey. I sniped you there. <laughs> Mikey just sold a 31 mil stainless steel for silver diamond doll. I've got Mikey. So you, uh, are you into silver goals or you mainly go for like steel? Yeah, I sort of like, I, I mean, I've had that since 2013. Right, okay. You get that from new? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice watch. Comes out on there, date just 26 mil. Um, stainless steel, half diamond set. Bezel shoulders and um, on the outer links. Classic nice. shape. You like them? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do yeah. you love them? I do love them. It's got like a, it's got a mark on it on that bezel. I, I, bezel, I, I, you I can't did it, polish I did it. On, it. On, like, I did it on this. Yeah. Uh, and then when I had it serviced, I put a new bezel on it. Oh, right. What? Um, because, you, because it was marked? Because it was marked, yeah. yeah. So yeah, then yeah. the new bezels, well, they charge that like 1500 quid or something. There is a That's small slight, mark on that, slight, to be honest, yeah. but the annoying thing is because it's right across units per hour. Yeah, right? I know, yeah. I know exactly. You can't polish it because yeah. the, black, the, yeah. the lacquer will come off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the annoying and, thing. And, and, yeah. So you've got two options. You can leave it, take it, yeah. I, and wear it to, if well yeah. if it really gets your nerves bring yeah. it back i'll yeah. do my best yeah. or leave it with me now i'll get it done yeah i do actually need to leave them because i'm going out drinking oh, i don't really fine. want to carry oh, well, yeah, we we'll, we'll, that's when i'm drinking so we had a nice guy coming from brighton today uh just sold his business so he's having a little spend up so he's treating himself to the stainless steel and yellow gold daytona with the gray rhodium uh, dial he's always misses the 26 mil date just with a half diamond set with the pearl dial Small hiccup on the Daytona. I didn't realise, I can't really see it. There's a small sort of mark on the units per hour on the bezel. Upon the further inspection of the loop, you can actually see it's more of a graze um, across the tech. So it's quite annoying. That's the thing with Daytona bezels. So often when we get them, we can't really do a refurb on the bezel. So we touch the rest of the watch up fine. But we can't really get involved with the bezel due to the black enameling. So if you do put a brush on there and try to polish that out, the enamel will get taken off and it needs to be like re-inked and it's quite messy and quite annoying. So on this particular one, we're gonna sort of get this touched up the best we can. Um, we might need to re-ink it, but it's only on this part here up top. It's not the whole thing, so the rest of the condition's fine. Um, so that'll probably take two to three days and then we'll ship out to the customer. Um, but yeah, happy customer, uh, a new customer. We're getting a new, over the last two weeks, we get a lot of new faces walk through the door, which is nice, what we want. But we love our own existing customers, but it's always nice getting new people walk through the door. But everyone's welcome. But thank you very much for uh, tuning into the YouTube every week. Any of you guys want to come down, you want to just view watches, you want to just see watches, you want to just feel watches, you're welcome to come. There's no obligation to buy in here at all. Today I'm rocking the GMT Master Pepsi, the 16750. This is the transitional model. With a nice faded bezel. You've got the denim blue. You've got a gloss dial with a spider, it's webbed. And you've got the nice patina on the inserts. Yeah, so when someone reached out to us, um, was keen on selling it. Uh, when he did come in, I said, look, I'm gonna keep it in my personal collection. Uh, I'll never sell it. It'll be passed down to the generations. Nice double row diamond tennis bracelet. Bought from Edmund. Just want to tighten up the clasp uh, so it doesn't fall off too easy. And we give it a little polish up. So it just needs a, a tighten up on the clasp and a quick clean and it's come out beautiful. Don't forget we are watch based here. We do have some jewellery but all the majority of our jewellery is in North London branch. So if you are interested in a piece like this, don't forget to hit them up. Have you got a Steel Rose Date Just 41 2023 available? All right, no worries. Thank you anyway. Have you got a Steel Rose Date Just 41 2023? Free away no? All right, no worries. It's definitely just so I'm looking for a date just 41 Steel and Rose Chocolate Diamond Jubilee 2023 for Callum. He's trying but he's not succeeding. But I can't talk because I'm not either at the moment. But we will. We've got we've got a few days to do it so we can do it. How does it fit by the way? Yeah, it fits nice enough. Yeah. So I just extend it a little bit, just yeah. so you get a better feel. If you ever like, for example, you go for a little run or something, you warm up, yeah. this is when it's extended. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll just show it like it's on my wrist. See that tooth there, where okay. my thumb is? That clips into the steel bar. You just literally fold it over like this. It folds over and clips in. Mean, now, now that's half an inclus uh, tighter. Yeah? I'll take a picture of that. Yeah, nice one. Fabian's 
was after Wimbledon, a rose gold Wimbledon. It's a lovely watch. I happen to find him one that's only a few days old. Check the date. Obviously, we try our best to get as new as possible. Not always, we, we're not always lucky, but Fabian's lucky on this account. We're in good health, bro. This looks nah, sick, bro. Man. Clean. You wiped out your bits and pieces. I'll put them in the back here. I'll just literally put them behind. You don't need to lose them. It's quite nice to have all the little tags and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? You say London for it, or you gonna show back? No, nah, I'm gonna stay down. You know. Are you really? Yeah. Get some, yeah. Yeah, get some shopping. and Get some food. Man. Just wait. Good man, I'll go back tomorrow. Yeah. Trying to down the flowers. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> Come back there, bro. Yeah, that's how it goes, bro. You know. Also, what's else for you? That's important. Yeah. All right. That's <laughs> important. More important than the money, more important than the watch. <laughs> Bye, well. Yeah, thank you. Nice to see you, man. So that was Fabian Edwards, the MMA fighter, uh, the brother of Leon Edwards. Uh, just come in and bought himself a Cinema Rose Wimbledon. Brand new, five days old, absolutely spanking, treated himself. After an unfortunate loss just to keep his uh, hopes high um, on the weekend. But yeah, listen, the comebacks, what's the word, Mikey? Always better than the setback, or something like that. Comebacks always better. The comebacks always better than the setback. So we go again. Um, I actually asked him if he can get me a signed glove. That'd be sick. Put it up on the wall somewhere. Um, cause we don't have many fighters coming here, do we? Not loads of fighters, but a few. You know what? I need Paddy's glove and all. Yeah, we, need, we need Paddy, Molly. We've got Ben Whitaker's of the Olympic. Olympic. We've got Ben Whitaker's, ben Whitaker's Olympic shorts. We didn't get nothing from Paddy. Didn't get nothing from Molly. Wow, let's make some calls. I'll get on the phone to Paddy and Molly. We need their shorts or gloves. But yeah, no, it's always a pleasure. I like it when these guys reach out and watch stuff. We always do our best. It's just nice and uh, recognising them. What do they say? Real recognise real. Let's, let's go. Uh, and what about, this, uh, what about the Daytona, if you could do it? All right. Yeah, I, don't, I think the customer wants it quicker. All right, go on. Tried first person for the Daytona to do the... Um, the bezel, touch it up. Um, as you guys know, Daytonas are very difficult when it comes to refurbing because you've got the black font on the actual bezel of the watch. If you over polish on the bezel, the font will come off. So we're using a couple of our special uh, special guys who, who deal with this sort of stuff. Uh, they're potentially gonna give it a try for us uh, and then hopefully we can get this one sorted for the customer. Sold a lovely Datejust 26 mil, factory diamond dial. Classic shape, beautiful condition though. Uh, we bought a stainless steel date just 41 Wimbledon on the oyster bracelet. This will sell quickly, they're quite popular watches for us. Just sold a lovely still on my root beer, 2020 box and papers. Beautiful watch. Very popular watch right now and all. Sold a few of these this week. Just another one going out this week. 228, 235, rose gold, olive, date 40. Going out to a very good customer today. Let's hope he likes it. Fucking fast party, man. God, it's like never ended. Narnia. You are proof. Right, we've finally got to the bottom bit. Fucking voice, actually. <laughs> okay. Stainless steel, AP Royal Oak, 41 mil, discontinued reference, 15400 ST. For some people, the 15400 is a grail piece. Obviously, we'll send this straight to polish, we'll get it touched up. It's a shame they've come down, they've, uh, they've dropped in so much value, to be fair. It's good for the people who want to get into it because they're so, they're so more, much more affordable now. But obviously, it's a shame for the people who have bought quite high. I've got We've got a couple collectively that owe us a lot of money, um, but just AP as a brand, I absolutely love it, and they're much more limited numbers than Rolex as well. I don't know, it's just the way the game, uh, where the game is, where it crumbles. But that is a, such a stunning watch. I love the bracelet on them. Watch where this comes back from a polish. It'll be a completely different watch. It'll be a different grey. Sold a date just 41 with a black batten dial. Going to a customer for their friend, for your friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect present, if you ask me. So earlier in the episode, you see us all struggling to source a date just 41 Stillman Rose Jubilee 2023. It was proving quite difficult. 
until uh, I got on the phone, managed to find one the next day. Bob's your uncle. Date just is your aunt. <laughs> As you wanted, 2023. As I wanted. Yeah. I have one lined up. And uh, the guy was like, um, oh, I've got one. It was lovely. I had to wait like two, three days for him. I was like, send the photo before I buy it. It's like, we'll see the dishes down. Send the photo, it's 2022. I said, no, it's not 25. Oh, okay, no, go on. Kids, they're paying for three minutes. Do you want to wear this? 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 So, 2023, uh, Cillian Rose Factory Chocolate Diamond Dial Date Just, sourced uh, for this lady next to me. Um, was a little bit delayed on the uh, on actually sourcing it, but we got there in the end. Fourth watch of the day, Cillian Rose Root Beer. So, the Daytona sale that we done the other day, the uh, gentleman was just. Sorry. Hello, Trotters. He's not actually in today, mate. Anything I can help with? Unfortunately, I've got a couple of those at the moment, pal. So they're not uh, particular models that I need right now. All right, pal. Thanks for the call, though. Cheers, mate. And you. Bye, mate. He was selling a somewhere in a date. Uh, however, we have two free in stock, so it's not one we really need right now. So rather than making him a low offer, we'd rather just say passing it for now. Back to the Daytona. So the one we sold the other day, uh, the gentleman had a query to see if we could maybe touch up the bezel, um, where obviously the bezel had been scratched. Uh, for those of you who didn't see it earlier, um, the Daytona bezels are fairly hard to refurb when they are scratched. Reason being, the black font on the bezel, if polished too hard, does come off. Uh, so you have to be uh, very skilled in, in the refurbs to, uh, to be able to do that. So we've given it to our specialist refurb guy who has uh, given it a go. Uh, we did say to the customer we'll try our best. Um, so tune in for next week as it's not a quick process. So thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in for next week for more content. Also tune in next week to see how the Daytona has come out. I've come back to seven lovely, lovely new arrivals. Um, I'm just gonna show you, let's do it again. Why are you doing this like mad, like mad, mad, mad? So yeah, I've just had uh, Fabian Edwards in, MMA fighter, uh, brother of Leon. Uh... Yeah. Is that why? Are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming there, Mike? I'm just telling him that I saw the date just 41. What one? Chocolate. Really? <laughs> Who saw the date just 41, Mike? Chocolate Island. I can tell you right now who I bought it from because I it? found the watch. Which actually makes it the second root beer of the day as well. Third time lucky. I mean, second time lucky. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> they just your aunt. They just your aunt. No, it's a GMD's your aunt.